in this uh, video we are talking about the plant growth regulators the abbreviation which is used for uh, this term is plant growth regulator pgr and basically we are talking about the phytohormones here so we are talking of those chemicals which are produced by the plants so these are phytohormones phytohormones are simple they are simple compounds small sized small size in the sense the molecular weight so they have small size and the site of their product, uh, production is different and the place where they perform their role or they show their effect is different. So, site of production and the site of effect can be different also. We will see when we come to uh, special uh, phytohormones, we will see how the, the site is different from the place where they are acting. These phytohormones are divided into two categories. One, those phytohormones which help in promoting growth, they are called promoters. And the ones which inhibit the growth, they are known as inhibitors. In case of promoters, we take the examples of auxins, gibberellic acid, cytokinins, and in case of inhibitors, we take the example of abscisic acid. We know that in plants there are five phytohormones and we have written four here. The fifth one that is ethylene is placed in both. So ethylene is taken as a common example as. So it can in some activity act as promoter in some activities it acts as uh, the inhibitor and that is why this is a common one which is in promoters also and inhibitors also. These phytohormones, they have various or different types of compositions. So now when we are talking of compositions, the first, some of them are indole compounds. Indole compounds like abscisic acid, Oh, sorry, like oxen or indole acetic acid. Indole acetic acid or oxen. The full form of IAA is indole acetic acid. That means their chemical composition is indole. They are indole compounds. The second category on the basis of composition, they are called purin derivatives. Purin derivatives. That means they are derived from the nitrogen base, purin. Purin is a nitrogen base. So they are derived from these purin base as derivatives and then there are certain uh, changes which take place in the chemical composition. The example, the kinetins or cytokinins would be kept in this category like oxygens are indole compounds cytokinins are purine derivatives the third category they are derived from keratinoids and they will be placed in the category of abscisic acid so abscisic acids are derivatives of Keratinoids. The next category, terpene derivatives.
जिपरलिक एसिड इज और ऑल जिपरलिक एसिड दे आर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टर्पीज एंड फिफ्थ आर गैशियस so in gaseous category there is only one that is ethylene or ethylene now these are five phytohormones and the chemical compounds from where they are derived from oxides they are derivatives of indole compound kinetins or cytokinins are derivatives of purines abscisic acid is derivative of carotenoids gibberellic acids of terpenes and ethylene is a gaseous compound so that is the only one which is the gaseous phytohormones and out of five phytohormones three are purely promoters that means they would promote the growth one is purely inhibitor that would just inhibit the growth or growth activities and one that is ethylene is or can be kept in both the categories on certain processes it acts as a promoter and on certain processes it acts as an inhibitor so now we have understood the basic of what exactly these phytohormones are and now we will take up all these phytohormones individually we'll discuss their uh, source or the place where they are synthesized functions and how we use them so from next video we'll talk about all these phytohormones individually